languages of the European Study student at the University of Bath and today I'm going to be talking to you about mind maps and flashcards. So what is a mind map? Well a mind map is a diagram which is often used to connect different themes all together um, showing the relationships between these and how all these things intertwine together. I find these really really helpful when it comes to planning an essay and also when it comes to condensing lecture material and it can be really helpful to see how the concepts link with other parts of the course so that I can bring in different academics, different case studies that we may have studied earlier and also I find it really really helpful to kind of have a visual aid in terms of how I can see different ways in which I could relate something back to something else and bring in different theories or different academics and I find it quite useful as well as a starting point in terms of how maybe where I want to further study or further research if there's a an interesting point or an interesting definition that I'm a bit unsure on I find it quite useful to map that out and have a real visual aid in terms of seeing what and how things link together and the evidence to back these up so I can form a really coherent argument when it comes to an exam or an essay. As for flashcards, it's normally a piece of card and information on both sides and I find this can be really helpful when it comes to vocab but also grammar points for Italian and Spanish. So it's often used to help memory and often used in kind of a question answer format so maybe question on the front and an answer on the back. So for example if I find a piece of vocabulary that maybe I'm unfamiliar with or I find it's quite interesting and be really good to use um, in and of writing, I might write it down. So I've got some Italian here and on the back I have the translations. I would go through this and if I got some wrong I would then put these to the front so I'd have a pack and make sure that I run through those the, the night before the exam especially and keep going through those until I don't get them wrong. I hope this has been useful and I hope that revision and exams go well for you guys.